in the history of Bitcoin, we never broke about the Fibonacci 0.618 buttons. And right now, it's exactly this what we see happening. You see, I'm, pu I'm pulling the Fibonacci here from the top to the downside. And we see we are getting exactly here rejected again at the Fibonacci, at the strongest Fibonacci 0.618. And the question is, will we break it to the upside or not? And I want to sh show you that historically we never broke above it the first time. You see here, I pull it in 2018, the bull and bear market um, down here from the top to the downside. And also so you see here, we exactly got at the Fibonacci 6.18 rejected. Yes, we saw a little pump uh, to the upside, which was approximately, wait a minute, this was approximately, we pumped over 4%. So it would mean in case this will work out, uh, in case we'll see also here a 4% pump above the Fibonacci, we could hope for one last pump over, wait a minute, this would be 4%, would be, we would see Bitcoin running maybe to 51k, but then we should get rejected and see a breakdown. How low we could go, i tell you in a second. I just want uh, to go even further back in the history of Bitcoin. I want to go back in 2014 and also here 2014 bull market and bear market in 2015. And also here from the top to the downside, um, I pulling the Fibonacci and also here we see we got this is crazy we got exactly at 6.18 rejected you see also before the halving and then so huge drop down to 3.82 approximately 3.82 Fibonacci so oh never we never in the history of Bitcoin managed to break above 6.18 Fibonacci we broke down to 3.82 even lower uh, in the bull bear market 14-15 uh, Let us quickly watch what happened in the bull bear market in 2018-20. We saw from the 6.81, we dropped down to 3, 2.36, uh, 0.236. You see it here, even lower, but let's say 236. So what we could expect here in case, and this is a question to you, what do you think? Will we break above 6.18 or not? But uh, historically, we should see breakdown to three, between 3.82 and 2.36. And this is so interesting because if we are breaking to 2.36, it would mean Bitcoin would go to 28K. So between 36,128, 200. If we see some wick down below, then we would retest here this um, red line, which we never retested uh, for now. And we should it because in the history of Bitcoin, we always retest the support line. So the question is, we will see wick down to 22K even. So what I'm doing with my trades, because this is very, it's getting very interesting because I have still my FXS long and FXS, unfortunately, we don't see any pump. I'm $13,000 in loss here, or even $18,000 in a loss. I'm here uh, also $18,000 in a loss on FXS and on WIF, I am right now $4,000 in profits, as you see it here. However, what I'm thinking about, because here's my liquidation price on FXS, $7, uh, $7. here uh, I'm fine, here's $5.20, so I'm, I think even in a drop, uh, I will not get liquidated. But what I'm thinking about seriously right now, I'm waiting probably for one last pump. Maybe we see, I think we could see still a pump at 250 or 52K. Why we could see pump to 50 or 52K? Because at 50 and 52K, there's a lot of liquidity. And I think they could, uh, we could see a week to 50, 52 to liquidate all the, uh, all the short positions and then see drop down of uh, the Bitcoin price. And this would be the moment where I may be exiting. And this only, i just share, sharing my thoughts. I'm uh, exiting my FXS and jump into a short position at 49k to a price target at least to 36 or even to 28,200 because this is what historically we saw also in the big picture um in uh, again i uh, coming to the big picture also we this inverse and shows perfectly worked out we reached 47,500 so congratulations who was long i also took my profits on my bitcoin long six seven thousand dollar profits and this is another chart. This is the crypto uh, market cap excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum. Wait a minute. I show you here. Here you see it, right? So, uh, and this looks amazing bullish. So 
we see the chart is telling us that we should see here some pump to six billion dollar, six hundred billion dollar, or even six hundred eighty billion dollar, because we broke a major major resistance line 40, 40, 408, 480 billion, and so I, we expecting here that altcoins will pump another twenty percent in general, not all the altcoins, but narrative by narrative so right now it's the gaming narrative as i wrote on uh, twitter and uh, we see like narrative by narrative pumping if you want to speak more about it write me down below so crypto the total crypto market cap looks also at the moment amazing because we you see we broke again above this huge resistance line it was a support line wait a minute i have to change yeah like this okay so uh it was a support line and we broke it down and now we broke it above so as long as we are above we are safe and it looks we see further pump and this is what i meant maybe we see still a pump to 50k or even 60k this is what nobody knows but uh to 1.8 trillion or even to 2 trillion dollar because what we could see here again for your understanding we never closed a weekly above we are we are on a weekly chart however dailies we closed above so we could see still a week here to 60k but then a huge dump to, to again to 28,200. We never in the history of Bitcoin closed a weekly above. So a week, we could see some bump, week to the upside and then a huge dump. This is the question. This is interesting. What do you think? Historically, we pumped only maximum 4% to the upside, which would mean Bitcoin would go from here to 50,800 or 51K. So... Um, However, as I told you, total market looks, looks nice. We could see uh, $1.8 trillion, which would be also nice because then we are perfectly forming a double top and then we can see it drop to the downside or even to $2 trillion, which would be still a double top and a, a dump to the downside. And we have to cool down some somewhere at this relief rally. There's no up only like people writing. S&P fund looks also still amazing. We broke this resistance line to the upside. We have a new all-time high. You see it here. Um, and we are see in the futures uh, uh, S&P 500 further pumping 5044 points so this looks amazing everything looks for now amazing the dollar looks also good because it seems that we are forming the right shoulder and which would mean it would be very bearish and as soon as we're breaking 101 point we are expecting that we see the dollar dropping to 95 points which would be also bullish for the whole crypto market and overall the whole market bitcoin dominant chart looks also amazing we broke mass massive resistance line and the next big resistance at 57 percent so still we're expecting uh bitcoin still to pump because i told you at 50 51 52k there are a lot of liquidity there are a lot of short positions which would get liquidated this is why i'm not jumping right now into a short position i'm just standing on sideline i'm waiting i'm watching the market closely so what do you think on this Bratans? if you want you can follow me on crypto Bratan on x and if you want to jump also into a long or a short position on bybit you get up to 30 thousand dollar link is down below so share with me what do you think will we break above 51 52k or will we now reject and see dump to 30k or even 21k what do you think brothers thank you everyone for watching i kiss you and see you later Mwah.